What's a good word game? Matt here. Hope you're doing well. Someone just asked me, Matt, what's your favorite song to play on guitar? So I said, I'm going to play it and teach it. A lot of y'all that follow me on my other channel, Country Song Teacher, know what it is. It's Travis Tritt, I'm going to be somebody. It's going to use the four chords, the G, the C, the E minor, and D. I'm going to show you. I'm going to play the first verse and chorus, then I'll kind of run down a few tricks of how I do it. What's up, buddy? The biggest guitar on the hardest side of town. It's hard for a poor boy to find a home. He had dedication, he had the heart and soul. Somehow I knew he was born. Hey, but let they play, okay? Hey. People say, get a real job, support your family. Teaching my boy some good classic country music back from the 90s. Uh, Travis Channel will be somebody. So, if you're not familiar with my lessons, the easy way I play those four chords is I lock in the two bottom strings. You learn man? Teaching this my little one year old. Lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret. There's mama. Mama's over there, bud. He's coming, babes. I lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret. For my G, I go fifth and sixth. So, for the verses, it's going to be two Gs. Two D's. So for a D, press the third string of the second fret. From the bottom four. So G, D. Your C is going to be just like the G. The fourth and fifth. From the bottom five. And then back to D. So G2, D2, C2, D2. Bobby played his guitar on the hardest side of town. Repeat that over and over so when I learned this, it really changed everything because when you lock in those two bottom strings, it stabilizes the guitar. Instead of doing this, and I can never switch. I can never switch from a G to a, that C chord because you take all your fingers off and do that climbing. So for years and years, I couldn't play songs that had any kind of C chord. So by doing it this way, locking those strings, it makes the transition. You're stabilizing the guitar, makes the transition very easy. So again, whole time back and forth, G, D, C, D. And then on the chorus, it's going to be G, straight to C, then D for four. So, I'm going to be somebody. One of these days I'm going to break these chains. I'm going to be somebody. Some or day, but your final chord. The bottom two strings locked. You can do it with two fingers on the fifth and fourth. I press both strings with one finger. Strum all six. Someday, back to C. You can bet your heart and dollar I will. Now, in between, at the end of the chorus and at the end of the first verse, you'll see what I, I do this G chord. And I'll bring this first finger down to the third string, kind of like. Strumming that D chord in between times. So, um, I'm gonna be the bitch, see, bitch, your bitch, your heart and dollar. I wish. Rule was a stroke. So, see there? I'm gonna the G. Then I'm gonna pull on and off that third string. Rule was a struggle. So, continues to the top. Now he's no more on the stage. Instead of just playing a standard chord like this, if you're starting out, I always say if you're a beginner, just do down strums to get the timing down. If you get a little more advanced, pull that finger on and off 
whatever string your string of strings your first finger is playing. So on a G of your fifth string, the C the fourth string, and a D the third string. Can kind of take your finger on and off there. It gives it what's called musical dimension. I'm gonna be somebody. That's my favorite jam, Travis Tree. I'm gonna be somebody. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite song when you grab a guitar. What's your favorite song to just jam along with, or a jam with the radio, or by yourself and sing? Let me know in the comment section below after you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to subscribe. Check out my website, Country Song Teacher, CountrySongTeacher.com, in the description below. Guys, have a great day. God bless you.